Hey guys, check out my sofa. There's so many filaments on it, I can't, I can barely even sit on it right now. I have a red, a blue, yellow, and tons of white filaments right here. I just thought of showing you guys because it's kind of messy and uh, I think there should be a better way. I mean, why do we have so many kinds of different colored filaments? Why can't I just have one filament and have different colors? And that is why we're gonna do a little experiment today. I went to the stationery shop and got some of this. Yeah, Sharpies. Uh, they are just a kind of permanent marker. And the reason why I bought this is because I saw this uh, little project online. It's called a filament colorizer. So what is this is you insert two Sharpies of the same color in these two holes and you have the filament run through this, uh, this kind of pipe and out comes the filament in the color of the Sharpie so that's kind of interesting I mean I can have just a white colored uh, filament and then it will, came, it will come out with a different color according to what Sharpies I put in alright so I loaded the project into the MakerBot desktop as you can see here this is the, the entire thing and I'm just gonna print it in uh, with 20% uh, in fill right so you might be asking why is this printed in PRA why not ABS well according to the website it seems like the colorizer works best with uh, ABS and basically what it does is the Sharpie is going to melt the a ABS on in the process and that is how the color gets mixed into the ABS filament. So it's a good idea to print this mechanism in PRA so that the Sharpie doesn't interfere with this mechanism. So I'm just gonna give it a try on my printer right now. Alright, so I've inserted two blue Sharpies uh, into the mechanism. And we are gonna do a calibration kit test. Uh, do you see it? Yes. It's green color. Alright, and here's the calibration cube 100% printed. And as you can see, on the first few layers, we have uh, it's still white colored because I have not inserted the sharpies. But after that, once I inserted the sharpies, you can definitely see that's light blue right there. Well, it's not exactly the blue I'm looking for, but it's definitely blue colored. So I assume that if we increase the numbers of Sharpies to 4, you might see a darker shade of blue. But for now, I must say I'm truly impressed. Uh, count my mind's blown. Well, as you can see, definitely has not affected the print at all. The print is perfect. Uh, well, there's uh, some problems here, but generally it, it works I mean it's colored blue and it looks exactly as the object I wanted to print so this is definitely a workable technique well that's all for the video right now thanks for watching and see you next time